Laura here. Nice of you to join me. And welcome to my channel and to the very next tutorial that we are going to be doing. This is going to be um, a series of tutorials on making this baby book bureau. I've had overwhelming response to um, my walkthrough of this uh, project that um, I have put up onto my YouTube channel. Um, I'll put the link up there in case you've missed it and you can go ahead and have a look at um, the, the walkthrough of this um, box and the album inside. In this video we're going to be making up um, the actual uh, bureau and I'll be giving you the measurements um, of how you can then cut your grey board etc. Um, I will um, have a PDF um, file as well with all the um, cutting for a cutting guide as well which I will link in the description box down below. Only thing I ask is if please, 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 if you do download the file, I would so appreciate it if you, um, if you're not already, then please subscribe to my channel. So that's what we're going to be making um, today. Well, we won't be making that whole thing, but we'll be making some of it. So what I've done is I've um, cut my pieces already and I've labelled them. I'm not going to cut them all on um, on the video because you don't want to see me cutting grey board. So I'll just go through all the cuts and the, the measurements etc. And then we can get on to the, the, the best stuff and that's making it. So getting into the cutting uh, of our grey board pieces. Now I've cut them already. I will put the PDF up so you'll be able to cut yours ahead of time. And... Um, then you can, you'll be already raring to go. So we're going to start with the bottom. So this is the bottom of the bureau. So this is, I've called this the bottom base. So if you label yours bottom base, and then if you need, to, you need to cut yours at ten and five eighths by eight and a quarter. Now I will say I actually use, I've got one of the big industrial. Um, guillotines that cut about 500 sheets at a time um, so it's really easy quick and easy uh, for me to do this they're very inexpensive but they are they're worth their weight in gold they really really are if you haven't got one of those you can use um, I've used the um, tonic guillotine um, trimmer that works really really well you just have to really give that a bit of welly but I have used that and then I have also used um, just my normal paper trimmer as well. But if you use your normal paper trimmer, you will have to remember if you cut it on one side, you need to turn it over, measure it again and then cut it on the other side. Because this is two mil thick, your trimmers only cut one mil deep. So just bear that in mind. But it's easily done. Or you can use a ruler and a craft knife. So I'm going old school. Um, you can do that there as well. So we've done the bottom base. So base number two, this is what is what's going to be the top of our drawer and the bottom of our memory book hold, um, memory book um, bottom, um, so to speak. So the, the bottom of that, um, that so sort of like a shelf. Okay, so I've labelled that to base number two, and that is eight and a quarter by ten and a half. Okay, turn this round. Then you'll need to cut two at eight and a quarter by ten and a half and label these sides. Now don't worry about this at the side here. I've just put that so that I know what I need to do next because we will cut these on, uh, I will cut these with you on camera because we need to cut our diagonal out to create the, the sort of the bureau effect. So you need to cut two of those. Then you'll need to cut one at um, two and a quarter by ten and a half and label that back number two. Okay. And then cut one and label this back piece. And you need to cut this at eight and a quarter by ten and a half. Okay. Now those make up the bases of our bureau. And you will also need to cut um, the inside divider. That needs to be cut at four and a quarter by ten and five eighths. 
so put them to one side that's the bureau so then the closure the front part of our box you'll need to cut one um, and label this top at four by ten and seven eighths the next one you need is going to be the base so this is going to be what um, sits at the, bot the bottom of our box and then you need to cut this at five and five eighths by seven sorry by ten and seven eighths again don't worry about these again it's just for my mental notes this one is the front so this is where we're going to have our window in our acetate uh, window and this needs to be cut at six and a half by ten and seven eighths and then I will show you how we're going to cut that in as well on camera. Coming on to the drawer, so you will need to cut your draw base at eight and three eighths by eight and one eighth. You'll also need to cut two at eight and a quarter by one and three quarters so you need to cut two of those and label them sides you'll also then need to cut um, two of these at eight and three eighths by one and three quarters and again label them both sides you will also need for the drawer a drawer front and this is going to be cut at two and a half by nine and three eighths so then moving on to our album so for your grey board you'll need to cut two album covers at nine and a half by seven and a half and then one album spine at nine and a half by three and a half okay that's the album spine right so finding out your back piece one and your back number two we're going to join these two together okay like so and they're going to be stuck um, there's not going to be no joins in here no gaps so you will need your glue okay so I'm going to put my glue on the side of the grey board I'm just dotting it on I find it easier to give it a a few dots okay and again on here okay like so and then you can stick these two then together I'm trying to think a bit better. so Okay, once they're stuck, like so, okay, you can go ahead and put your um, construction tape on. And I'm just going to put it along that join, and that's going to keep that join nice and secure. Okay. Secure it as well on that side. There we go. So that, that is our back piece done and ready. So we can put that to one side and you can bring in then the, the sides. Now for the sides you will need a pencil. Um, I'm a bit short on pencils at the moment. They keep going walkabout. I think I've got um, a pencil thief so I'm going to use a pen so where I've drawn so if you can see I put a dot here and a dot here at um, at different um, at, on the diagonal okay and what we're going to do is but from this from the edge here we're going to measure from the edge up five and a half and from the edge of this side we're going to measure three and three quarters 
okay we're going to put our marks so let's do that first so let's mark measure that at five and a half okay going along to there and then coming along from this side three and three quarters okay mark it and then we're going to draw our line and we're going to join those dots up okay like so okay can you see that what i've done so this here is going to be cut away okay we're going to cut along that join oh sorry that line so i'm going to just use my craft knife but if you prefer you could use your trimmer entirely up to you i just find this way i will end up with a nice clean line now a good tip make sure you've got a very sharp and um, maybe a brand new craft knife a uh, craft blade in your in your tool because grey board does tend to blunt our knives so I've had to do that a few times just to get it through but then as you can see I've got a nice clean line now the next thing you can do you can either measure again or you could just use that as a template on top and just draw your line from that line like so okay then we could cut that but just so that I know I'm just going to quickly just measure that to make sure yes five and a half that I've got the correct measurements and that is coming out at yeah exactly so brilliant so I can go ahead now and cut that second line or that second corner off so I'm just going to get my ruler in place push down at the edge and then just very gently run it through a few times till you feel that you've gone through the whole of that grey board because this is two mil grey board so it is pretty thick and as you can see then that's then giving me a nice um, edge but I've got a little bit here that I'm just not happy about sometimes you think oh, I should have just left it alone but there we go I'm just taking off those bits there I wasn't happy with it and I'm not happy with that neither that's not I should have just left it tomorrow you should have left it there we go there that's better so we've got the nice clean line and they should then be the same angle they give you the same angle as you can see there okay like so I'm happy with that you're happy I'm happy although I think that one aha uh -huh because that needed to come off it hadn't come off the side there we go there that's perfect we've done those but we need then to bring in our bottom our base bottom okay make sure you've got no like here I've got a few bits of um, a, a bit of fluff on my grey board can you see from where it's cut I'm just I've just got a very an old nail file I haven't used this to file nails it is just for paper I'm just going to file off those excess bits of fluff um, just those fibers because then I'm going to when I put my construction tape on I'm going to get a nice finish it won't be all bobbly 
and we don't want bobbly construction tape, do we really? So we can go ahead and put our sides on. Now these go on to the top of our base, okay? So you will need your glue onto the edge of your one of your sides like so okay and then we're going to put it so that it literally sits mirroring that edge so this is a bit so let me stand it up this way and you can see I'm putting it onto the top of our base not onto the side okay now I've just got these corner clamps and they're from a company called Craft Teller, um, Craft Teller um, and I've just found them so I thought I'd give them a try on this I haven't tried them yet so I just thought for us um, makers especially album and box makers they would be fantastic so I thought I'd give it a try so I, I gather what happens is that, I'm just going to make sure that is right over there. I gather what happens is you put, these have got um, three different channels, so that's for three different thickness of grey board. So I'm going to use the 2mm one because that's what I'm using. So I've got them in like so. That needs to go on there and then this can go on this side making sure I've got it in number two number two there. that's better there. I've got it now so you have to use the two to get them to stick right I've got it by Jove I think she's got it so Put your glue onto the side, on the tiny little edge, like so. Turn it up, and we'll put this one in here. So that's number two, and I think it goes the other way actually. Number two, no, nope. did have it right. And then that goes in that number two. She says, come on, maybe I should put that in first. That one. And then, I'm trying to have two. I need three hands, is what I need. Right. In there. And number two in there. Aha, right. And then push them up. That's what I need, I think, is to push it up. Okay. Okay, push down. Turn it round, get your other one in place, ready. So number two, number two, mm -hmm. okay, pull that down. There we go, right, so we've got a box okay so we've got a box make sure when you put yours together that you make sure these are fake going the same way don't do what I do and put one on back to front and not realize that that's what you've done because it doesn't work so while that's um, I've got these on here I'm going to put some tape just on these joins just to keep them secure just while we are fiddling with it because I need to take these off um, 
in a moment so that I can put the next the next piece on of my book of my album so I'm just going to add just add just that there just to keep that um, secure I'm going to do another one as well and also that just helps bring them together as well like so turn that over and do the same on this side like that and like that there we go okay that should hold that for the moment now the next thing that we are going to do is put our back on so I'm going to leave those two um, these two um, pieces on at the moment and just concentrate now on the back because the back is going to go exactly the same way it's going to just fit um, over those sides like so and um, onto that back piece as well so it's going to fit around so we need then our glue needs to go along the three sides um, of the piece on the back so it's the long it's the sides that haven't been cut is where we need to put our glue so like so now we can hopefully just lay this on and it should fit now one thing I forgot to mention this back piece you can either have it at the bottom or at the top now I had on the one um, that I did um, for my sister I had it at the bottom at the at the bottom so I thought this time I'll try it at the top and see if it makes any difference so just pushing that on now because I haven't got an actual corner there to put um, my little jigs on I'm going to put them on this on the top here so I need number two and number two and push them back so they will fit nicely in there like so there we go. I just need to push that over so it gives me a nice strong bond there but I'm just going to add our little bit of sticky just to keep them together I don't want them to, I want that that to glue to stick and not to obviously come apart so we're going to stick those in now what I have noticed on this piece this is the second one I've done I have got a tiny bit that I need to cut off it's just a smidgen on the side and I think what it is to tell you the truth I don't know, really know what it is but I'm going to just bring that up so that is level. I want it to be level with the top because the bottom we can fiddle around with. We just need it to be level on that top edge. Like so. Okay, that's in. So I'll show you in a moment just what I mean we need this to be as level as we can especially at the bottom um, it might not be because these are on let's take them off okay and let's then push that in like so Okay, right, finally it's actually stuck. Now, 
I have, you may not have it, but I did. On this corner here, for some reason it is throwing this little bit out and I think it's just because I might have just cut um, like a hair's whisker um, too much um, or measured it too much so I've what I've done is I've just used my scissors and I've just trimmed off that edge there just that tiny little bit now once we cover it with our tape you won't even notice it so I'm not that too fussed so I'm just then going around again just adding these little bits of um, construction tape just to anchor those sides together but oh before we do that is the bottom of my box I actually um, painted it in black gesso now you don't have to do this but once you it always looks nice so you can either paper it if you want to now or paint it now I'm going to paint it um, just in some black gesso that I've got I've just got some indigo blue uh, gesso good brilliant brilliant gesso I have to say it is my favorite Okay, I've just cut off two pieces of little bits of grey board, just um, the two mil. So to put our shelf in, we are going to need to measure up by two and a quarter. I'm going to measure from the back to the from sorry from the bottom of this upwards. So let's just put that in. If I measure it, then I'm I can then I'll show you. Um, when it's done okay. so what I've done is put my two dots one there and one there I'm just going to draw a line in between them two dots to get them in place so I'm going to come all the way to the end so there I've drawn my line don't worry about that at the bottom because that's just pushing that in there we are okay do the same with the other side so up two and a quarter and two and a quarter and then draw a line all the way along and then because I'm not going to get my ruler in I'm just going to Mark, mark, oh, two and a half, sorry, I'm two and a quarter, not two and a half, and mark, find just a piece of grey board, and join them lines up. Maybe do it this way, I'll be able to see better. There we are. There we go, just join them up so that they, they join, just so that you've got a guide to work to. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is these little pieces are just going to fit underneath. Um, that line because we want our top to sit on the top of that okay now don't cut too big a piece you could even cut these down a little bit smaller because I don't want it to interfere with the door with the drawer and if they're this small it shouldn't do that's one and two right. 
and then if you just put your glue on you could use double sided tape that would work just as well make sure you get the nice straight edge that's it and again nice straight edge on the top if you've cut them like mine I'll put that that side that's it make sure that they are just on that line that's it base number two will just sit on top of those like so and I get it there hopefully now have I cut this too big oh. this might need to cut I might need to cut a little bit off of this I might need to cut this down to because that fits in bits so these are just going to go um, on the side Oops. again just put them underneath that pe that pencil line that you've drawn like so and again on this side And then for your shelf or your bottom bit now if you want to I would paint this side and maybe paint your back so you could paint just paint the underside you don't have to paint the top because we will cover that so I would paint yours now I'm going to go ahead and paint mine I might as well paint all the way around now now I've got my lines in place I can go ahead and paint um, all of it now. then fit nicely in there let me turn that round for some reason it's just that little bit too big right I'm just going to take a, a tiny smidgen off let me see let's hope that it's not it should be ah Okay, this is just, that's why. This is just that bit bigger than ten and a half. That's why it is not going in properly. It was just that I hadn't cut it uh, enough. So now... That's perfect in there, and that can then fit onto those. Onto those, and then we can add our st structure strips. But before we do that, I'm going to just add a bit of glue on the side here, just to um, help it stick. So it's just on those sides. So if you find that yours is just a bit too big, then what I would suggest is just to check your measurements 
and maybe cut just a smidgen off um, it's like what I do it could be that because I've painted now my pieces have um, swelled a little bit so that's why it just wasn't um, going in properly so let's just push that up push that up and across and then down onto those pieces they're on that's on I think yeah and then on so push down push in that's it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some of our tape from one side here to the other and I'm just going to pull them in. So I'm just going to pull that in so that creates like a, um, a vise and it clamps it together just while we're waiting for that to set. Okay like so and then we've painted inside as you can see now you you won't see um, a lot of that so um, it's just really just to give it that coat of black so while that's setting what we can do is we can move on to then our bits of cutting that we need to do so with this you need to bring in your top your front and your base so with the base we'll start with that because it's at the bottom we need to measure up from these two sides in in an inch and then we need to measure up two and a quarter so I'm gonna do it on this side so that we can see it so measure up two and a quarter put a mark measure up two and a quarter and put and um, let's do it that way let's go with two and a quarter okay so that's then our mark so I'm just going to draw that line across okay and then we're going to measure in one inch okay so measure in Let's go with it this way, one inch and draw your line and then measure across one inch, so that's one, two, three, four, one inch, is that, that looks bigger, no, That's it is just a tiny bit. Just make sure that's one inch as well. Yeah. So this here is what we're going to cut off. Okay. We're going to keep this. So this we need to keep. This we need to keep. So you only cut from that point there. And that point across and then down so I'm going to cut up first that that way I know that I've cut um, correctly so I'm just going to line them up okay push your knife in and then just very gently just go in a few times until you feel your mat underneath and again, I'm going to do this bit. Okay. okay, just come up. Keep going again until you feel that mat underneath. And then you know that that's, you've cut all the way through. And then go from that point there to this point here so that's one 
I don't know why I'm counting. Two. Three. Is that going to cut all the way through? Yes. So I'm just going to snap that because that's done. Right, these little fluffy bits, as I say, just get your nail file or if you've got a sanding block that will work just as well and just sand off those extra bits there. is the bottom front okay so moving on to the next bit which will be it's called the front now what we need to do with this is we need to measure one and a quarter inch all the way around now stop if you don't want the acetate window don't cut this out skip this part and go on to the next leave this in but if you do want the acetate window, then you'll need to watch. So we are going to measure um, one and a quarter inches um, all the way round. So let's go with one and a quarter. Just move that up there and it's on, so let's go this way, it'll be easier, there we go, I can see it now, one and a quarter, okay, back along, and then come along, along, along here and go one and a quarter again, okay, Come along, one and a quarter. Long, and then last one, one and a quarter along. Okay. We're going to cut in the middle, so this here is going to come out because this is going to make our window. So get yourself all lined up and in position so that goes there that goes there right push your knife in and then cut Go all the way round until you've cut that window out. So that should just pop out if you've done your job correctly, but that's just probably just need to go through that one more time. So you should be able to just wiggle your just hopefully pop that out like so pop 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 and then if you've got again any of those little flurry bits just file them down 
so I can get them off like so. So that is all our cutting down, uh, all done and out of the way for the moment. So again, that is still um, drying. So what we can do is put that over there and bring in then our drawer. Because what we can do is put our drawer together um, while, again, that is drying. Um, you don't need your drawer front, so put that to the side. Now, with the straw base, some of the pieces are a little bit bigger. Please don't fret. Again, that is intentional, okay? So, don't worry too much about it. Now, we're going to work around, um, you know, from one side like that and put it together that way. I'm going to use these little... Um, corner clamps again just um, to help aid so we're going to put this um, our sides are going to go onto the side of our box not on top of it okay onto our base sorry not on top of it so we'll need to put the glue onto the side here of our drawer base I'm just going to So bring in your glue again and dot 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 like so. Get your piece and just put it onto the side. I think that's the right. Right side, yes it is. Two and a quarter, so it's got to be this side. Yeah. So two and a quarter, so just push that on. Push it down like so, so that it sits uh, nicely. Let's get our little clamps. Let's bring that up. Bring that on. And that sits and on top of, hopefully, no, that's the wrong in there. Let's turn that round so that that sits on top of that like so there we are okay so that's one side okay like that now we are going to put some of our um, tape just on that join just to keep them um, clamp them together that's all it is for. And that one's probably a bit too big, but never mind. We'll make the next one a bit shorter. There we go. So push them in. That's it. So that's side one. Now we're going to come down this side here. So this next piece is going to butt up to the piece there but it's not working is it it's got to go there yes that's right I had the wrong side so you want the so the first one I've put on is the eight um, the eight and a quarter the next one is the eight and three eighths so that goes that butts up to that piece at the end there so put your glue on this end dot 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 and onto the end of the side that you're going to put on now move that over and then it's just going to butt up now it's going to be a little bit too big but don't worry too much about it because we are going to cut that bit off so I'm just going to bring in these clamps again and Hopefully get them 
in place. So I'm just moving them out so that we can get that one in properly, I think, like so. That's it. Now, as I say, this is going to be that little bit too much. Can you see there's a, a tiny little slither? But what we're going to do is that is going to be cut off. Once this is dry, we can cut it off and you won't even notice. Once we've covered it, you won't even notice that that um, has been cut. So I'm going to take that off there because I think we are nice there. So the next one we're going to put on is the three, uh, eight and a, and a quarter side. And then that goes on to that side there. So we just add our glue. And that's going to butt on top of that um, edge of this piece here. Okay, like so. Let's bring it in. Oh, I must admit I'm having a bit of trouble with my glue tonight. It does not want to stick and it is annoying me immensely. Stop it glue. Right. Yeah, just bring that one up, push them down. Like so, and I'm going to put my tape around this piece here, bringing it up so that that is nice and level. And again on that side, bringing that up so it's nice and level. And then while this is here, I'm just going to trim off that excess part, like so. And then that's going to give you a nice finish. Take this one off. Push that down. And then put then our glue, our tape on that end. Clamp it down, really, really pull it down so then it pulls the two um, pieces of chipboard together or grey board together. Now we're just left with the end bit and then that just keeps moving. I don't think I've got enough glue on that edge. There we are. So then that is going to fit just nicely along there like so. So you can glue all the way along here and this can then just fit on like so. Then I'll add our little clamps in just to keep that corner together and add the corner and this one again just to keep those corners in place just while they're setting okay, push down And then that is our box and then that should hopefully all fit inside there we go because that's going to be where it's going to come out and that's going to fit in there just nicely right 
So we can put that then to the side while that dries. And then we can start by, um, we can put our divider in, if I find where I put it. So the inside divider um, one, that needs to go in there. Let me just take this bit off, because that's now stuck. Now, who has spotted the error? Anybody? No, I didn't spot it either. So, enough said on that matter. So, luckily, it hadn't stuck yet. So, I can go ahead and stick the construction strips in. So, you will need your trimmer. And you will need um, some black cardstock. And you will need to cut your cardstock at ten and sorry, yeah, ten and a half. Let's go ten and a half. So you'll need two of these, so ten and a half okay, by one inch. So I will score at half an inch and then cut it at one inch. Okay. So then that will give me the piece along the back, okay, although that is just a tiny bit big. I don't know what's wrong with my measurements tonight. It's ten and a half. So maybe do it at ten and three eighths. Ten and three eighths, that fits perfectly. So then we need to do one at, we need to do another one of those. So score it at a half, not do it like that. So turn it round. So score at a half and cut at one inch, like so. But we need to cut this at um, ten and three eighths. Okay, like that. And then one more because these are going to go into um, when we put our divider on, this is going to go to help our divider. So score at a half, cut at one. And then this, sorry, this needs to be ten and three eighths. Like so. So that's those. And then we need to come down. So we need to cut this at eight and a quarter. So eight and a quarter. Cut it. And then again. Score at a half, cut at one, and we need two of those. And they're going to go down the sides. And then we need two for the no, that's it. And then we can do the sides, the sides of the divider once we've got them in. So I'm going to stick the back one in first. So you will need your double-sided tape for this. And we're going to stick the double-sided tape on the mounting side fold of the construction strip. So that will be one. And oh, two. Get stuck to your fingers. Right, I'm just burnishing that down just with my fingers. 
to help get that um, tape adhered to both the, the sides and then I'm going to put this at the back so what we do is we the fold of our construction strip goes into the angle the right angle where the two pieces of grey board meet okay push it in as far as it will go now I work from the middle and then just push my way up so I'm going to secure the bottom then I'll turn my bureau up and then I'm going to just run my finger along that edge to secure that tape to the back of my uh, box. Now that's the first part to keeping our box nice and secure. So the next one will be the short side that goes in and again if it is just a little bit um, too much just trim off a smidgen just a little smidge and then that should fit nicely in because we're making something that's handmade um, it it can be very difficult um, to make measurements um, correct every single time uh, if you've cut them all at once then of course they're going to be correct but if you make something like what I've done and then you come to make it again sometimes you could be like that tiny millimeter out um, because you might have cut um, your cardstock or grey board um, just a smidge out from your measurement so it can be a bit difficult so it, I think learning to um, rectify those minor blips really really does help and um, it, it also helps as well when um, you know you need to cut things off um, because you might then think oh no this is doesn't this is not fit this is not working it's not um, you, you, the measurements are all wrong well I've actually measured this and again I had just that tiny bit off which I've cut off but you're not going to see it you're not going to notice that um, I've you know had to cut some off so it's just learning those sorts of things really so that's two on now we're going to do exactly the same with the second piece here and again I think this is going to be a bit too long so we can just trim off as I said that smidgy bit you're not going to see it because it is going to be hidden with the front but um, we just want it we need something to keep this shelf um, secure now you could as well um, no you couldn't sorry I was um, thinking that we could do something else but we can't so again just position that fold into the fold of that oh, let me just come up a bit so there we go push that in position that fold in there like that there we are. then push it down onto one piece of your board turn it over and then just run your finger along and then that way this now is secure you can take your tape clamp away and then that now is beautifully secure and it's not going to go anywhere now we can put our construction strips going up so up the sides here and then we could then put in our 
um, divider. Now, let's measure. So they for the back. So let's measure these ones here. So we need to be have two at eight. So two pieces of your black cardstock at eight. Is this at eight? Let's go to eight. Like so. So I'm going to score at half and cut at one. Okay. Score at half and cut at one. Okay. One. Two. Put your double sided tape on. Let's just move these rubbish out the way. I said, didn't I? I said before I was going to, before I started, I am going to have a nice tidy desk. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. I think the world had other ideas. Oh, I so wish I could work in a tidy, tidy, on a tidy desk. Please leave me a comment if you're the same, if you work at Messy, if you find it difficult to keep your desk clean. I think when I've put something down, I then think, right, I'll go on to the next thing now. And then um, it's when that's when it gets uh, into such a state. You think, oh no. So, again, doing the same thing, the folded edge needs to go into that fold of the grey board, push it in and then push it all the way up like so, that's one, the next one, oh I've already done those, well done, okay take that off, take that off and again do the same thing, push that into that grey, that um, angle of the where the grey board is and push them up and then our box is now starting to come together it's starting to not be as flimsy as it would have been right now to put our divider in we need to measure now we need to measure from the back here um, along four inches on either side so I'm, I'll just need to turn this up this way so that I can get, um, I can see what I'm doing. So four and four. Now you don't have to go all the way to the top because this is this um, divider isn't all the way to the top. So I'm just going to go up a little bit like so. So can you see there? That's my line. So do the same on this side, measure to four, and to four, and then join them up like so. Now when we put our divider in, our divider needs to go, so this is the front of our box here, so our divider needs to go um, this side of the line okay so it needs to go this side of the line and um, that means that that then in the this part the back part has got the the full four inches I haven't cut it down now you don't need to do your you could have if you wanted to have a bigger gap at the back then by all means move this forward a little bit maybe make you could make it you know four and a half maybe if you wanted a bit more space for your album um, so again you know play around with things like that just because I've done it doesn't mean to say that you have to follow exactly you know you can go off and do your own sort of things I love it when people come to me and say oh, oh I've done this but I've actually done this with your album and then I think wow that's fantastic why didn't I think of that so you know things like that um, are fantastic now, so with the divider, again, I'm going to put my glue on the, the three sides, 
So along the top, sorry, along the side, along the bottom, like so, and then along the side again, okay, like so. And remember what I said, we're going to place it this side of that measurement, okay, as near to, so I'm just going to have to just borrow it for a second just so that I can squidge around with my measurements so that just means it's it's going to be fitting really sm snugly now what I've done is I've just put another piece of tape along the top just to hold those sides in so that um, it helps that glue to stick but then we're going to put on our um, construction strips on the front and in on the back and then that's going to also help it to keep um, nice and secure as well then we can take that um, tape clamp away so we cut these ones up before didn't we so we just need to add our double sided tape to these so that's one might as well do the other one like so now don't worry about the bottom because we are going to cover this in either whichever colour you are deciding to do so you could cover it in the pattern paper you could cover it in cardstock it's really really entirely up to you so again do the same thing with these get the middle bit put it so that that um, folded edge folds into that grey board um, sort of angle and then go along and just prise that in so that that really does sit onto that um, grey board so it really does stick so what I've done is just turned it upside down and I've just gone along now that's that stuck so this is getting good so I can take this away okay like so and then we can go ahead and stick the next one okay so again I'm going to have to just turn this up so that I can see what I'm doing Set. Um, there we go now I'm going to turn that up that way push that in that that so then we just need to do the sides okay so they you can cut your cardstock at four and one eighth by one inch so four and one eighth so that's four and one eighth so we can go with And we're going to add our double sided tape to these. Okay, so take your double sided off one of them, and we're going to put these at, these are going down the edge. So make sure that you are happy with where your placement is and stick your construction strip on okay that's one And that is so that is really nice and secure that's not going to go anywhere now that is um, perfect so we've now got our divider in our drawer housing done our drawer done 
The last thing we need to do is we're going to just edge everything with our black construction tape so that we get rid of all these, these um, unfinished edges. And then we can then start to edge the outside as well. So let's start with these edges first. So just taking your tape we're going to start at, we're going to do, like we're going to go round in a sort of, um, I suppose, well we're just going to go round in a, not a circle, but round in a square. And put them up, do it this way. You can leave all your cl tape clamps on. That's just going to help keep it nice and strengthened. So I'm going to come across, I'm going to just come up a little bit with this tape, like so. Okay, come around and okay. So with this now, we all the where everywhere where there is a corner, we're just going to just um, snip into that corner because what that's going to help us do is we're going to be able to just push this down and it's going to give us a nice finish okay so I push that bit down like so and this edge here I'm just going to just chop off an, a little that point to make an angle okay so go ahead and chop into this one and on this point here we need another one and then inside this part just give that an angle as well so push this bit down and that bit there and then that is going to help. There we go. We've got then we've got that sort of done now. This bit here, uh, point. So again, chop into that where that point meets, and we might as well do this point, this bit here. So an angle at that, and an angle there. So that way we're creating a triangle on this one. So then we've got enough to go underneath the drawer. So let's go this way. So push that down and we just come like that, push that down. Okay, can you see there we left with this little triangle here. Um, that's just gonna go over that corner, sort of that little T junction. Okay, come up to this bit. I'm going to push this down and push that down. And then we've got this last little bit that's just at the bottom, and then that's just going to go up like that. Get your uh, Teflon bone folder and just iron out any of the creases that you may have or air bubbles that you may have that way you're just going to have a really nice finish and you can do that on both sides I think that's it so that's one part of our um, box done. We now need to do exactly the same on this side.
just burnishing my edges here, just getting all them creases out, or as many as I can. So that then is two sides done. So we've got the back and the front left to do, and we just need to do this side here because we've done the sides. So just put that on like so, and then that there. Cut that off. Okay, just cut that off because that's just a bit too much. There we are, so that's one side. Do the next. So half on to the edge and half off. So you've got equal, um, it doesn't matter if it's not equal, but just um, you've got some tape either side of that grey board. Push it down. Then the back bit is left, which is this bit, to there. Push that and then the last bit which is the bit at the back like so and this one you can put actually onto you can stick it onto the grey board side rather than onto the edge trim it off push it down and then so just edge it down with your fingers there we are like so and that apart from that bit on the top is all of that edged well that didn't take too long did it okay let's just take this one. okay half on half off um, box all um, edged and stuck ready then to put our front on. Let me just push them down. So for the front let's get the top, the bottom and let me just move this all out the way. So we've got the top, the bottom and the front. We're going to go with a 4mm gap in that to hopefully get it um, right. So let's get our tape. So you need your tape and how I do it is if you've watched any of mine before is I hang my tape reel off the side of my counter and then I just kind of place my part one grey board piece on the top and then stick it down. So now I need these. So to do our four mil space I'm just using two pieces of grey board and I'm going to to butt them up to the grey board that's um, sticking already onto my tape. Line the two corners, um, the, the sides up and then push that into the, the grey board spaces that you've got. Okay, But making sure that these corners are level, Okay, not sticking out otherwise you won't get a very nice um, finish so cut that bit off okay then just use a bit of um, pressure and just push that along so that you've got 
a nice tidy join. So I'm just going to, because I haven't cut enough of that, it goes on there like so. Okay, bend it. And let's try it out. Okay, that's looking good. That's sitting nicely. That is looking a okay. Fantastic. So, next part we need to do is we're going to edge the inside of our window. So, to do that, we first of all need to put just a few little strips just where those corners are like so this one goes on here one more and that can go on there and then with this we're going to just edge the inside edge So... Now if you have got just a tiny bit of the grey board showing, you can just use a... Um, permanent marker just to um, colour in those extra bits like I've got a little tiny bit there uh, but I'll just use a permanent marker there we go and just colour them in okay then you won't see them because it is only going to be that tiny bit okay same on this side you won't see it because that will be covered, but there we go. So next we need to do the, we need to put the bottom bit on. I'm going to use a 4mm spacer. So let's take this over the edge. Put this on here like so. Okay, use your, get your spacers and butt them up against that grey board edge. Bring in the piece that you're going to stick together, making sure that the, that the, both of the sides are aligned and the corners match. Pull this up. Okay, can you see that my sides here are matching and it's at the top there. So just take that bit off, pull that over. Just give it a little bit of pressure as you're pulling it through, just so that you can get rid of any air bubbles. And this one I'm going to make a bit bigger. Okay, again, do the same thing, a bit of pressure, pull it along. And then you've got your piece. So bringing in your box, now I'm going to put it on its side so that you can see. So this is actually, I don't need to cut anything off of that. That is maybe a tiny smidge, but nothing that is loads. Because that just fits, that's just fitting extremely well if I say so myself okay you will fit there we go there so once you've got your sides exactly how you want them because I'm going to work from the top going down because this is slightly bigger 
than my box you have you're going to have to just eyeball the measurement um maybe you can see it this way you're just going to have to eyeball the measurement either side okay like i don't think you can even see so no so it is just slightly bigger i've done it that way so that it, it doesn't cave in when you um, close your lid so let's work from the bottom going upwards i think that's how we should do it yes and that's fitting just as i would want i think that's about right okay just going to put a bit of a clamp on there just to keep my space uh, either side i think that's about right yeah What I'm doing here is using some construction tape lengthways so it's half on half off the base, the front base part of the closure and the side of the bureau. And then I'm, I do that on both sides and then I burnish it down using my bone folder. That's looking really good. Let's just check our drawer fits. Take these off, that would help, I suppose. There we go, our drawer is fitting in there perfectly. Okay, so that's that's good. It's looking good. Okay, so I can take this bit off now and that clamp off. Like so. And what we need to do now is we need to really just give this another um just something else just to hold it together because i notice that it does tend to it's break along this bit so i'm just adding that bit of tape just along there i'm going to push that in just so that we've got a nice, that's it, doesn't come away then. I'll give that a big. And do the same on this side. This side's looking really good actually. Um, I like it, I like it a lot. crease into that bottom bit of that fold uh, or that lip and then just bring it across now that's better that's a nicer side okay like so and I might do the other side just as well get another piece of tape I'm just going to add that to that so I'm just going to put it on to the bottom to this part I'm going to stick my tape onto that first and then just ease that crease in like so and then push it over that's better it's a better technique there we go push that over like so and then bring that round down there we are just chop that bit off go up into the uh, and then pull that down there that's a lot better I'm just gonna break that. right we've got the edges here to edge and then i think We've then finished with this 
video. I think we've done it. Um, it's taken me a while, I have to say. Um, I've had to do this a few times actually because I didn't get it to, um, it wouldn't go right, so I've had to do it a few times. But uh, as I say, I make, I do these so that I make the mistakes so that hopefully you don't have to. So that's one edge. I'll edge this edge here, like so. So that's one. I just need to add a little bit at the bottom there. So I didn't cut it enough. Like so. And bring that round. That's one edge. And then do the other side. So I'm going to start there. And then go up and up and over. Let's just pull that there. Pull it down. I'm not going to cut this in the middle, I'm just going to pull it over. So what I've done is just push that over like so. Chop that little bit off there. Okay, pull that over. Do the back, or do this last bit. We have the draw to do, but um, I think I'll leave that to another. No, oh no, we might as well do it and get it over with. I'll get it done and then. We can get it put into our folder. A folder. What am I talking about? Oh, it's late. It's nearly uh, midnight here in the UK. Uh, I just so wanted to get this done. So that I can get it uploaded. So... So that then is our box, near enough done. The only thing we haven't done, which I forgot to do, is edge our um, opening here. But um, yeah, you just need to edge it. So I'm just going to edge that now. And cut that off. Okay, just push that round. And then that will fit up underneath that, like so. And then this bit, let's go under. Push that under goes behind there. Again, you're not going to see that, so that's that one. And then I will edge also the bottom bit here um, for the simple fact of it then also helps to cement the this part to the bottom. So let me just add a bit of tape on there, pull that down like that and then a bit of tape this side, I'm going to do it quite long actually and just put it over that, pull it down and around, there we go. So. Let's put that to one side and just edge then our box. So our box is now nice and um, firm and stuck. So edging the box is very easy. Um, you can use structure strips as well if you want to. I am going to, but I won't do that on camera. I'll do that off camera. Um, and it's exactly the same way as what you've done before. Um, so 
but edging the box all I'm doing is I'm going putting my tape half onto the grey board and then leaving half of it off so that I can then t bend it underneath so it's exactly the same as what we've done um, on the big box but I'm just doing it on the drawer so put in our little oh maybe not that much putting our little angle cuts in at the points and then we're just going to push down okay push down push down turn it round and do exactly the same push down push down last side and that gets pushed 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 like so okay then we've got the tops to do and then the sides push that down so that then is the sides done I'm just going to push just give them a burnish get rid of all those nasty little creases and then we just do the side the, the corners here as well so I'm just again half on half off It. I'm going to do the next one, half on, half off, round, and push that down so it goes around it. Push that down so it goes around it again. Chop into the point, and then we can push that over, push that down. Okay, like so. Push that over, push that down. Got one more. Uh, I'm going to just put an extra piece on that because that one near enough covered like so okay so that then is that covered and then all you've got to do is put your um, you can either paint inside and then cover it or you can add your structure strips inside if you want to add be a bit more um, sturdier so if I just show you quickly what it looks like painted and then you can choose then you can decide what you want to do so to paint it all you need to do is paint you don't even have to paint all of it just paint um, the corners and all the way up and then across like so Because then all that's going to be shown is that the corners then so sorry the the edges it's in then they're already painted so you're not really going to know um, that that is painted rather than paper or your construction tape so I'd leave that to dry so that goes then into our little hole once you put the drawer front on, that is going to hide that drawer and make it part of the bureau. So you won't even know that it's there. Thanks again for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And remember, if you click on my logo that's on the bottom right hand side of the screen, if you just move your mouse over that, its subscribe button will come up. It's as easy as that. Don't forget to come see me on social medias 
and all of those all the links will be in the description box down below as always until the next time bye